Are you tired of having useless teammates? Do you feel like you don't have enough impact in your ranked games? Want to carry your team to wins and show off your amazing combat score? Well, look no further. The Empress herself, Reyna, could be the fix to all your Valorant problems. With her immense snowball potential and sheer ability to stay healthy in fights, she is the trademark character to learn for anyone struggling to carry their ranked games. Hello Epic Gamers, my name is Dan, and today I'm excited to share with you a comprehensive guide on Reyna and the 8 insane tips that other top ranked Reynas are currently abusing. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please comment down below which agent you'd like to see next. Before we dive straight in, as always, we have our question of the day. What do you think the next new agent will be? Personally, I hope we see another movement-based agent like Jed or Omen that can get around the map quickly. But my personal guess would be another healer since we're in a Sage-dominated meta and having another healer would give us the choice Riot wants us to have. Or so they say. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Reyna's Leer is one of the most unique CC abilities in the game. Unlike Phoenix or Breach's Flash, her Leer can't be dodged if you're not near cover. On top of that, Leer is a lingering CC ability, so anyone thinking about re-peaking it while it's up will still be blinded. This is especially important because operators can often jiggle a Phoenix or Breach Flash and re-peak afterwards. However, Reyna's Leer must be destroyed or completely weighted out. This allows your team to more confidently take space and potentially secure a bomb plant. If that didn't already sound like a solid deal, Leer doesn't even blind your teammates. This allows you to set your teammates up for kills with your Leer. Make sure to communicate and coordinate with your teammates around it as you can double peek multiple enemies safely with a properly timed and placed Leer. A simple 3, 2, 1 countdown is usually all you need to pull this play off properly. Do you want to make your enemies' lives a living hell? Make sure you start casting your Leers up into the air or into the ground. Bonus points if you mix them up throughout the game to throw your enemies off guard. The reason this is such a great idea is because it will force enemies to move their mouse vertically and horizontally to destroy your leer. This makes it extremely difficult to flick back to you once you've peaked with the additional vertical movement. Essentially, instead of flicking from the leer to you in a horizontal manner, the enemy now has to adjust both vertically and horizontally. Because Reyna's Leer breaks in roughly three Phantom slash Vandal shots, it's imperative you make those shots harder for your enemy to land. Less experienced Reyna players will typically throw their Leers at head level, which doesn't force your enemy to adjust their crosshair vertically, thus making the subsequent shots much easier. Again, why would you want your enemies to have fun? No, we're not interested in that. More often than not, this is the biggest rookie mistake that less experienced Reynas make. Okay, let's say you keep throwing out your Leer and you still die to enemies. If your Leer placement is solid like I mentioned in the earlier tip, try doubling down on your Leers. Basically, don't be afraid to Leer once, wait, and use your second Leer before you even peek. This is especially good if you mix up single Leers into double Leers when you notice the enemies punishing you. Additional brownie points if you're able to mix up the position of the Leers. For example, sending out the Leer at high point, then sending the second one at ground level will almost always net you a free kill on an enemy. Try to be creative with your Leer. You don't want your opponent to easily predict where the Leer is placed as well as how many Leers you're willing to commit. Sometimes it's completely okay to throw out a Leer and back off once you've obtained information. A good rule of thumb is to use both your Leers each round as her Devour slash Dismiss gets a charge per round for free. Holding onto a Leer or two will cost your team rounds. Because Reyna is so cost efficient, it's important that you remind yourself to use your Leer whenever you can. If you aren't aware of this already, Reyna is one of the best characters for pistol round. Although pistol rounds may seem unimportant at first, they are actually some of the most crucial rounds in this game. Winning a pistol round will set your economy up and at the very least net you two free rounds. Teams that are able to win both pistol rounds essentially have four rounds secured and often secure two or three games more simply due to the economic buffer it provides. So if you're tired of losing games, winning pistol rounds can be a huge turning point for that. So why is this relevant to Reyna? This is because Reyna is the only agent that can have 150 HP during pistol rounds. By securing a kill on a pistol and using your Devour Orb, you essentially become a raid boss during the round. There's nothing worse than a 150 HP Reyna feasting on your entire team on pistol rounds. Besides being one of the strongest pistol round agents in the game, Reyna has the highest potential to snowball her kills into team wipes. Without a doubt, Reyna is the character I have the most aces with. This reason is because of how strong Devour Orb is when used properly. The rule of thumb to follow when choosing when to devour or dismiss is based on several factors. If you didn't take too much damage from the enemy you killed, then refrain from using devour. 
Let's say you do take damage. If you don't think there are other enemies nearby, then it's a perfect time to devour. A neat trick you can do when you kill more than one enemy is to consume a dismiss first into a devour, which will allow you to heal freely without worrying about an enemy peeking you. Lastly, look to use your devour to force other enemies to peek you to stop your healing. This works best with another teammate playing off of your contact. Again, no other character can snowball as much as Reyna. Getting kills and using Devour when it's safe can allow you to keep taking continuous engagements that no other agents can. Beware though, if you are out of sight of the body that you use Devour on, it will cancel your healing. Not only is Reyna's Leer super strong, especially against uncoordinated teams, her Devour allows her to heal up to full HP and keep taking fights without a worry. Why not continue with the fun? Let's talk about her Dismiss Orb and how much potential it has. Because her dismiss allows her to become invulnerable during the duration, it allows her to reposition freely without worrying about dying as well as expose her body to scout for additional information. Reyna is one of the few agents in the game that can hold aggressive angles without fear. Once dismiss is absorbed, it gives Reyna the option to continue pushing forwards or backwards. One thing many people aren't aware of is how far the soul orb can be grabbed from. Why is this important? Because operators exist. Teams with a solid operator can effectively shut down players, especially on the defender side. What do you know, Reyna happens to be one of the best agents for wielding that said weapon. This is due to her Dismiss Orb. You can confidently peek with the operator, and as long as you secure the kill and immediately pop your Dismiss, you can instantly reposition. Alongside Jet, Reyna is the only agent that can play aggressive angles with the operator and get away with it. Although Reyna is an excellent agent to wield a rifle, she's just as potent with an operator in her hands. Those looking to get better with the operator but feel that Jet isn't their type of agent, then Reyna is definitely the one for you. Want to break some ankles? Maybe have the enemies complain and all chat about how OP Reyna is? Boy, do I have the treat for you. Not only does Dismiss allow you to mix up your aggression and reposition, but it can be used to fake your opponents out. This is because Dismiss can be cancelled at any point of its duration. This makes it much more difficult for enemies to know when you're no longer invulnerable. Additionally, it also gives you the option to choose when you want to fight. Its flexibility can lead to some interesting possibilities. For example, canceling it early can be great if you've repositioned in a spot you want to be and don't want to wait the full duration out. One neat trick I love to do on Reyna is use Dismiss and fly out in the open to bait out enemies, quickly come back to nearby cover, and cancel the Dismiss. Comboing this into a fast wide peek or a leer can net you a surprising amount of kills. Knowing when and how to cancel your dismiss can give you the upper edge against other Reynas as well as the enemies you meet in ranked. If Reyna's kit didn't already sound OP to begin with, let's finish off with her ultimate. Her ultimate is the best in the game at single-handedly winning rounds. Empress gives her greatly increased fire rate and reload speed. Additionally, any kills she gets while in her ultimate effectively resets the entire ultimate duration. If you're getting kills with her ult, you can have her ultimate up the entire round, or at least until every single enemy is dead. Furthermore, each kill she gains automatically regens her HP, and when consuming Dismiss, it makes her invisible. I think the best way to use her ultimate is early in the round when you want to play aggressive. Especially on the attacker side, the first blood is the most impactful kill. Like I previously mentioned, popping it earlier in the round not only allows you to create a lot of impact if you secure a first blood, but when chained properly, you can have your ultimate up the entire round. Lastly, this is especially useful if you want to open a round with an eco weapon like a Spectre, Ares, or Bulldog. Because they are cheaper and weaker weapons, popping your ultimate will put their effectiveness closer to a Phantom slash Vandal. It's a very unique way of winning rounds you shouldn't be, and can be a great way to help your economy. Great, so I mentioned how Reyna's ultimate is great at opening rounds up and creating space for your team. Let's say you don't want to use your ultimate early in the round to create openings or pressure. Try using it during post-plant to better secure rounds for your team. This can be used on either the attacker or the defender side, because Reyna's ultimate lasts 30 seconds and the bomb lasts 45 seconds. This gives you pretty much the entire bomb plant duration to play around in your ultimate. For example, if you pop Reyna after your team plants the bomb, it forces enemies to either peek into your ultimate, which gives you opportunity for free kills, or it wastes precious time. Even if you pop Reyna's ultimate the second the bomb is planted, you'll usually engage the enemy before it runs out. Killing that enemy will then fully reset your ult timer, which will cover any of the remaining time. On the flip side, popping Reyna's ult when you have to retake a site for a defuse can net you some easier kills. If you secure a kill now, you can go invisible and spot out where the attackers could be hiding to help you and your team secure back the site. To all the Reyna mains out there, we hope this guide helped you learn a thing or two. Additionally, we hope this guide helped to shine a light on those looking to make the switch to Reyna. She's an agent with exceptional carrying ability when played properly and is a blast once mastered. Implementing the tips we mentioned well can easily push you to your next rank promotion. 
That's all we have for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell notification to ensure you stay up to date with our videos and ahead of the competition. If you want further help, feel free to check out our website, ProGuides.com, for the best on-demand coaching. Our coaches are among the very best, and we hope you check them out if you enjoyed this video. They will help you with any of your individual Valorant needs and can bring you to the next level. And if that's not your style, make sure to check out our Discord. We have a great community where you can chat, hang out, and possibly find friends to play with. We hope to see y'all in future videos and keep up the grind, ProGuides fam.